Leader and spokesman of the Abu Sayyaf group, Muammar Askali, is among those killed in clashes with government forces in Inabanga, Bohol. At least five other ASG members were reportedly killed in the clashes. Askali was better known as Abu Rami, the name he used whenever the Kidnap for Ransom group issued ransom demands in exchange for the release of foreign hostages. Local police identified him as the leader of the armed men who slipped into Bohol Monday night. The ASG reached the famous tourist destination as the island prepared for the influx of tourists for the Holy Week break. Residents of Inabanga town reported the presence of pump boats to the police, who immediately coordinated with the military. Three soldiers and a policeman were killed in the encounters that began 5 a.m. Tuesday. Ascali's group slipped out of Mindanao as the military stepped up operations in the group's base in Holo and neighboring islands in southern Mindanao. Ascali's group was behind the kidnapping of German hostage Jürgen Kantner last year. The ASG beheaded Kantner last February after the family failed to pay 30 million pesos in ransom. The Supreme Court orders a cash payment of 81.46 million pesos to proceed with the election protest of former Senator Bongbong Marcos against Vice President Lenny Robredo. The SC, sitting as a presidential electoral tribunal, is requiring Marcos to pay at least 66 million pesos and the Robredo camp at least 15 million pesos. The amount to be settled in cash is payable in two tranches. Marcos has to pay at least 36 million pesos on or before April 14, and another 30 million pesos on or before July 14. Since April 14 falls on a holiday or Good Friday, the first deadline was moved to the next working day, which is Monday, April 17. Robredo will have to pay 8 million pesos for the first tranche and 7.43 million pesos on the next due date. Marcos is seeking a recount in 27 provinces and cities, covering more than 39,200 clustered precincts, composed of more than 132,000 precincts. Robredo is contesting the results in more than 8,000 clustered precincts, consisting of more than 31,000 precincts. Pet rules require a fee of 500 pesos for each precinct contested. While the PET's latest order means progress for Marcos's case filed back in June 2016, his camp says they will file a motion for reconsideration on the required amount. Marcos claims the computation is erroneous because the PET used established precincts instead of clustered precincts as basis for the computation. There is a difference of 49 million pesos in the fee for the clustered precincts and the established precincts. A strong magnitude 6 earthquake rocks Mindanao early Wednesday morning with a tremor felt across the island. The quake struck at 5.21 a.m. with the epicenter located around 6 kilometers southwest of Wao, Lanao del Sur, at a depth of 1 kilometer. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology says it is tectonic in origin. The quake causes damage to property and power outages in Lanao del Sur. A highway cracks in Barangay Panang in Wao, which is four inches wide with a depth of one foot. Two mosques are also damaged in Panang. There are no reports of casualties. This comes after several strong earthquakes jolted different areas in the country last week. Chinese President Xi Jinping urges United States President Donald Trump to peacefully resolve surging tensions over North Korea's nuclear program. Chinese state media says she told Trump in a phone call that China advocates resolving the issue through peaceful means. Trump on Tuesday said the U.S. was ready to resolve the North Korean problem without China if necessary. He made the comments as a U.S. naval strike group headed toward the Korean Peninsula. The naval strike group includes the Nimitz-class aircraft supercarrier USS Carl Vinson, a carrier air wing, two guided missile destroyers, and a guided missile cruiser. A barrage of North Korean missile tests stoke U.S. fears that Pyongyang may soon have an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of delivering a nuclear warhead to the U.S. mainland. Taiwan bans the eating of dogs and cats after a spate of animal cruelty cases that stirred public outrage. The Taiwanese parliament outlaws the consumption purchase or possession of dog and cat meat, with offenders facing a fine of up to 250,000 Taiwan dollars or 8,170 U.S. dollars. 
It also hikes the penalty for killing or abusing animals to a maximum two-year jail term and a stiff fine of 2 million Taiwan dollars, more than doubling that for repeat offenders. Like some other Asian nations, dog consumption was common in Taiwan decades ago, but much rarer now. A string of much-publicized animal abuse cases triggered deep public concern and demands for tougher protection laws. The military was forced to apologize last year after a video surfaced of three soldiers torturing and strangling a stray dog to death with an iron chain.